Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at a USB OTG dock. And this is specifically intended for making things simple for you. If you want to connect a keyboard, a mouse, um, USB thumb drive to your device on the go without having to basically fiddle for things, it's just ready for you. You come home, you plug it in, and you're able to use it. So this is TK. Let's go ahead and check out the Ugreen OTG dock. Here's the box itself. Uh, it's actually, you know, it's called the Ugreen is the company. It's made for you, OTG plus USB hub. Um, this is basically what it looks like. Uh, we have the functionality of being able to plug in a flash drive, a USB keyboard, a mouse. It's compatible with OS, um, Mac OS and Windows. So if you need to plug it into your PC to use it as a hub, as a pass-through hub, it also works as a USB hub. Uh, you're able to have one smart connector, which essentially is the uh, the smart charger, the one that goes to 2.1 amps. Um, all four, the other ones, the all th sorry, the all th the other three are one amp. Uh, we have three connectors at one amp, and then OTG, of course. Um, on the back, on the side here, we have a few pictures here. Uh, I'll just give you guys a kind of a quick uh, rundown as far as the specs. Uh, it's intended to basically work. You need to have it powered, and it does work with a PC or a mobile device. And you can connect the OTG functionality to all of the different things here. As you can see, a tablet, phone device, all of that. Here's the dock itself. We have our power source connected. We have the OTG cable. We have a USB connector on one end and a micro USB on the other end, compatible with both devices. Again, this would be if you're connecting to your PC. See, I'm going to go ahead and put in my phone here. I just want to show you guys. It does have a cradle for your device, and this will work with a tablet as well. Um, I have my 7-inch uh, here Fire tablet, uh, and it works pretty well. And I've also used it with a 10.9-inch tablet. It works pretty well. The, the actual hinge is very strong. The main benefit of the unit itself, again, uh, you have a power button to be able to turn it on. And then you see a light, slight blue LED there. Uh, this is the 2.1 amp uh, connector. It's a smart connector, so it will charge your device depending on the requirement. And then we have three one amp chargers. Unfortunately, no fast charging here, but it will charge multiple devices at the same time. And again, it will work as an external hub to your PC if you connect it. So for testing purposes, I'm connecting it to my LG V10. I'm gonna connect a USB drive and I'll connect it to one of the ports here. And I'll give it a second. Uh, you'll notice right at the top here, it gives us basically, it says reading general USB drive, general USB drive. I can click it and it's going to open it up and give me access to the local media files that are on it. I will try it one more time. And here it is. It's accessing the files all on my USB thumb drive. Uh, of course, I can connect the USB keyboard. I'll plug it in. Let's go home. Now, right out of the box, it recognizes it thinks it's an iOS device. I'm not sure why, but then if you go home and just go directly into, let's say, anywhere where you're able to type any field, you can delete, uh, you can hit escape to go back home. Uh, it gives you the same functionality as a regular keyboard. And again, the main benefit of this is that you pick up your device, come home, and start working on your device and then interacting with it as a desktop or an interface that you're able to use. And it works almost with every device that I've tested it out. I've tested it out using the LG V10. I've tested it out using my Fire tablet. This is the Amazon Fire tablet. I'm just going to go ahead and unlock it. Very similarly, uh, now this is the, the recent home. I'm able to go in here. Um, again, it recognized the actual drive. I'll just go to go videos and photos. It's going to try to go through and, sing, and scan the actual device and see what there's available there. There's, of course, a lot of pictures. Uh, if I go to more recent and I can go into my file explorer, and you'll notice here it does the same thing. Um, I'm able to use my mouse, uh, sorry, the, the cursor here to be able to navigate on the screen. Uh, and, of course, I can go in. And then I can start looking in escape, escape again, it takes me back home. This is a very nice, small, functional hub that you could use. It serves dual purposes, really. You can use it directly with your PC as it's indicated on the box, and you can use it as a hub, so you can plug things into it directly, multiple things, and it'll connect to your PC. If you plug it into your mobile device, it works as a obviously an OTG hub, which gives you the ability to connect multiple functional things, a keyboard, a mouse. Um, they, of course, you can connect a wired mouse or a Bluetooth mouse if you have the adapter for it, um, and you just plug it directly into the OTG connecting. Um, now, I've tested it out with the S7, with the V10, uh, as you guys saw here, as well with the actual Fire tablet. Um, it works it works pretty good. The one thing I want to mention to you guys is the functionality from it. The charging is done from the four ports that are on top of the uh, actual dock. The OTG functionality in the back does not charge your device, so you want to be mindful of your battery usage. 
Um, it works great for tablets, it works great for devices, especially since our devices are 5.5 inches and greater. Um, I like the fact that it's functional, it's simple, it's easy. I wish it had power through the OTG, that would have been very nice. Uh, but at this point, unfortunately, it does not have that. I wanna say thank you very much to you, Green, for allowing me to review this unit. Thank you very much. Uh, again, I'll give you guys a link in the description below where you'll be able to pick it up for yourself. It does come with a power brick that you need to plug into the wall and the one that I came that came with mine was a US compatible one. So make sure when you're getting it to make sure that it's compatible with your system. Other than that, like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Again, thank you for the support. I will see you guys in the next one. This is the LG G5. It's here. I finally have it from T-Mobile. I did a pre-order and a front-facing camera. Fingerprint sensor is at the bottom. And again, this isn't a button. It's